what's good guys today we're going to be learning some methods so a method is a block of code designed to perform a particular task for example our method our app can have methods like login logout convert etc the print line um, is also a method so the purpose of a method is to create it once, call it multiple, and call it multiple times if we need it to perform a particular task. And you can define your own methods to perform your desired uh, tasks. For example, if you wanted to create a welcome method, um, you can simply just call that. So the welcome method declares a method called, uh, so the code above declares a method called welcome, which prints three lines of text. Note that the name of the method is followed by parentheses. The statements of the method are inside the curly braces. Now, let's look at this code again. So the static, is needed to be able to use the method in main. And then you'll learn more about the static keyword in the advanced lessons that we'll do later. The void means that the that this method does not have a return value. You will learn more about return values later in this module. The welcome is the name of the method. So first, um, to clear, to create a um, valid method called login. So static void name of the method. Perfect. So calling a method. After defining the method, you can uh, use it in our program by calling it. To call a method, type its name followed by a set of parentheses so essentially you just uh, type the name some open parentheses and a semicolon and then uh, you call the method fill in the blanks to call the login method so you would just need parentheses the name and then the parentheses semicolon to call the method so you can call a method as many times as necessary. For example, welcome, welcome, welcome. So if you call it three times, it'll run it three times. So let's quickly run this. So it's going to print these lines uh, three times. And then the lesson takeaways are going to be there are main uh, the main points are going to be uh, methods are reusable okay so we can define it once and then call it multiple times and then to call a method you use the name followed by parentheses the void keyword means that the method does not return a value we'll learn uh, more about return values in the next lessons so stay tuned and I think I'm just going to go ahead and do this project inside of this video. All right, so you are making an automated response program for a store. And the bot should take a number from the user as input and reply with an automated message. There are currently three responses that you need to handle so the reply so the message one is order confirmed the message two is info at sold.com and for any other number the reply should be try again the given code calls a method called bot uh, that's the name of the method Define the method which should take an integer input from the user and handle the above mentioned cases by outputting the uh, the correct the corresponding reply. Do not change the method called in vain. So we don't touch main. All right. So 
we need to create a method called bot that does that reads a number and if the number is one or two prints out this according to that if it's any other number it returns try again so we can do static um, static void bot <clears throat> and then since we already have a scanner what we can do is do scanner sc equals new scanner system dot in and then we'll scan in the choice or I will just do the choice here. Yeah. So int int choice equals c dot next int and then we're gonna go ahead and read it and then if choice equals equals one then system dot out dot print line uh, we'll have order confirmed okay I'm gonna copy this line because we're gonna need it in a little bit and then we'll do else if uh, choice equals equals two can do we can do info at solarwarn.com and then of course the else we can just print out try again so try again now let's see if this works yep so so the problem was you had to read a integer from the user if it was a one you re you would replied with order confirmed if it was two you replied with info at solo1.com if they entered in three four or any other number you would put try again all right, so we have this. So let's finish up this. So we'll do static void. The method is called shoot. And then this is calling it. That should be good, yep. So that is gonna end the lesson. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.